guys welcome back to my youtube channel guys tonight on my channel i'm making some jamaican chicken soup yes guys you know what winter outside the time start get cold miserable and you know so the winter also comes with flu it's also flu season winter time or flu season time so you know a lot of us are not feeling very well a lot of us are under the weather and then we have this virus outside where i run up and down and i go on with beer things okay yeah so you know we have to try to get with soup in our system so tonight in my kitchen may i make my chicken soup guys and show you guys the way i do my chicken soup in my kitchen guys please watch my video tell me if that's the way you do yours are you like the way i do mine how you think i should do it a bit different just let me know guys don't be shy to leave your comments and let me know what you're saying thanks guys yes guys anyway first thing first i'm gonna start adding my water i already stopped but so let me just stop and show you guys yes yeah, so i'm adding my water to my pad this is the amount of water i'm adding depends on the amount of soup you're cooking you can add to your liking so you should know the amount of soup you want from your pot so this is the amount of water i'm gonna add ooh, 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 ooh. there you go yep yes guys so after i had my water over here guys one minute please i've got my chicken you know a lot of, maybe other person don't do it like this but i do it like that i just put some um garlic my chopped garlic over my chicken so i'm gonna add my chicken my garlic my chicken to my pot I'm gonna now add my pumpkin, right? I'm gonna add my pumpkin. So add my little my chopping board over here, guys. This is what I've got some I we call this chocho, sorry, chocho. This is some chocho that I slice up, I dice up, whatever. And this is my Irish potato that I've I've sliced up as well. I've got some pumpkin. Yeah, you slice up your pumpkin, whatever, you know, slice up your pumpkin, buy your pumpkin, cut it up small. Your carrots, these are these are carrots. <laughs> I suppose everyone knows that. But let me just say it for you, you might have a few people who don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I've got on, on this chopping board, I've got some Irish potato, some chocho. In other country they call this something different. I think just castor, castor, I don't remember, but I know in other country they call this a different name. But in Jamaica we say chocho. This is chocho this is um irish potato this is optional guys not everybody put chocho in them soup so if you can't find it or you don't know what it is you don't have to go hunting for it it's optional it's totally optional this is a carrot and this is um no this is pumpkin this is carrot sorry guys mm, and i've got some scallion which they in this country we call in uk we call it spring onion and i've got a bit of thyme fresh thyme and i also got a fresh pepper but this i'm not going to cut it open we just drop that on the top this is only for flavor so we get the flavor from it but we won't if you burst it open that's when you're going to get the hotness like uh, you know burn up your mouth hotness yeah them type of hotness that's what we're going to get but we're not going to open this we're just going to drop it in for flavor just drop this at all in it for flavor okay guys so First thing, I'm going to add my pumpkin to my meat. I already add my chicken. I wash my chicken, clean my chicken, and add a bit of chopped garlic to it. And I've already had that to the pot. Now I'm adding pumpkin. So I'm adding my pumpkin to my pot. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put my carrot also. So I'm adding my pumpkin and my carrot along with my chicken and allow those to cook until it's tender you understand we want it for nice and tender and mash up in the soup when it's really mashed out like boil up so we're gonna add these and we are gonna leave the pot to boil up for maybe about like um 20 minutes 25 minutes just to make sure that our pumpkin and carrots and all of that is well mashed out yes guys so let me just 
give that a little stir yeah guys give it a little stir just to make sure everything and i'm gonna leave it now you can see so in that pot right here i've got garlic chopped garlic that i put over my chicken i've got some pumpkin that i've also chopped up diced up i've got carrot and i'm gonna leave this to allow this to cook for 20 minutes guys 20 minutes this video was recommended by my co-worker emma so she asked me to take my time and explain the way i do my chicken soup because she was hoping to make her own chicken soup so emma this video is for you i'm i'm hoping that you will get it the way i'm doing it okay guys so that's why i'm explaining it step by step for my dear co-worker emma well guys we're gonna leave that to boil for 25 minutes in 25 minutes we'll come back and we'll check to see what's happening okay guys so my pot has been boiling my chicken my pumpkin and carrots has been boiling Ooh, steam. yeah sorry guys yes for about like um see yes so my chicken yeah all of that been boiling you see the color the pumpkin and the carrots has boiled out and my garlic and my chicken so guys now remember i still have these over here so i'm gonna add my irish potato come on don't burn me yeah add my irish potato and my chocho yeah i'm adding them to my pot yes guys adding all of that to the pot Oh, my sweet potato look a bit dark because that's what happens when you peel the Irish potato and leave it to sit down. You see that, guys? Yeah, when you peel the Irish potato and leave it to sit down too long before you add it to your pot. So, anyway, guys, I've now had my Irish potato, my carrot, my now in the pot, I've got my Irish potato pumpkin carrot chocho and uh, my chicken but guys i know a lot of jamaican who cook chicken soup must be saying so where is our yam where is our yam because in jamaica normally we put a piece of yam in our soup but guys to be quite honest i don't put yam in my soup only reason for is my children don't eat yam and i don't really, i'm not a big fan of yam so for me there's none in my soup but guys if you like yam by all means go out buy a nice piece of yam cut it add it to your pot yeah but i don't eat yam my kids i will eat a piece of yam but it's not something that i really liked my kids don't like yam they don't eat it they won't have it so if i buy a piece of yam i only will put yam in my soup if my relatives are visiting or my friends i'll add yam to my soup because you know jamaican people like them little yam me, me is exceptional i don't like yam i like yam guys so guys now i had my irish potato and my chocho and i'm gonna leave my pot to boil for a further maybe 10 minutes i'm gonna come back and have my dumpling i already made my dough it's sitting there i'm gonna make my dumplings and add to this after a few minutes see you in a bit okay guys okay guys i'm back so can you see the sand show them in the pot volley yes my pot is bubbling so now guys let me just put this away i'm gonna that's it volley good job i've got my little cameraman with me today say hello <laughs> Kevoli. hello hi guys so i'm gonna start adding my dumplings stand still volley come on Stand still so you can get everything, okay? Okay. Good boy. So now I'm gonna start adding my dumplings to my pot. There you go. I'm adding my dumplings to my pot. Well, make sure you get in the pot, in, inside the pot, okay, darling? Okay, I'm going to go down. That's right. That's it. Yeah. So now my fingers from here. 
I'm getting my dog in my pot. I already had my dog waiting to. So now, guys, see, I'm just doing them. This type of dumpling, rolly, rolly, rolly. Let me just straighten them volleys. And there you go, volley. Keep it like that, okay? Okay. Good job. <laughs> yeah. So now, adding my dumplings, I put in mostly the them rolly dumplings. Let me just put two normal, two round dumplings. Make sure you get any popcorn. Come on, I'm going to look through that. <laughs> okay, so you can see. Okay. Sorry, guys. My cameraman... It's the first time holding the camera for his mommy. So, but he's doing a good job, aren't you, Ronnie? Mm -hmm. You're doing a awesome job, darling. You're not getting in the pot, you're getting. Okay. Good job, baby. <laughs> yes. Yes, so. All right, get mommy hand. See, now I'm doing these dumplings. Okay. You like dumplings, Kivali? Mm-hmm. Good boy, you're gonna enjoy your chicken soup. Mm -hmm. Good job. Come on, maybe some. Okay, guys, I'll come back to you guys after I'm finished putting in my dumplings. Because I think my cameraman and are tired. Is he untired? Mm -mm. It's not tired. Okay, you can hold it, or hold it right there. That's a good way. Okay, guys, I'm adding my dumplings. Adding my dumplings. Adding my dumpling. Yes, guys, dumpling. Chicken soup, it's not really chicken soup if you don't have two dumplings in yes. it. You get me a few dumplings. Yes. We love dumplings. Yeah, we love dumplings. <laughs> okay, guys. I've, yes, I've finished adding all my dumplings to my pot. Yes, guys, I've had my dumpling. And I'm going to leave all of that just to cook for maybe a few minutes, like eight or so minutes. And then I'm going to come back and add the seasoning. Yes, guys. The seasoning is one of the, mo it's the most important part of the video because that's where you get all of your flavor yes the season is where you're adding your flavor to your soup make sure it says finger licking good yes so after a few minutes i'm going to come back and start to add my seasoning see you guys in a few minutes okay okay guys i'm back now yes so steam as usual come on yes yeah, so I'm going to yeah, we wait for the steam it to go on it go. Yes, yeah, so my dumplings are almost cooked or cooked. I think they're cooked. So now guys, this is the time I'm gonna start adding. So this is my Grace Cock soup, Cock flavors, whatever, noodle mix mix. So my cock soup. Yes. This is what I'm gonna add to my pot right about now so i'm gonna add all of that to my pot yes guys but me when me i cook it guys i add one cock soup and then i had a depends on the amount of soup me i cook i've also had the chicken flavor this one the chicken flavor noodle soup so it's a chicken noodle we call it a jamaica chicken noodle so i add that one as well you can just add one, but you know me, everybody know me. I like my things them well tasty. So I had two chicken noodles. You have to mix, give it a nice stir. Make sure you stir it after you put in the chicken noodle. Otherwise, otherwise you will find um like bits of it lump up in the bottom of your pot. So you have to nicely stir it. You understand? Stir it so you get rid of the see there from the dumpling and stuff. Yeah, make sure you give it a stir after you had your chicken noodles or your cock soup or yeah, you give it a nice stir so you don't have it lump up at the bottom of your pot. You get me? You see it? Stir it up. Okay, guys. So I'm also gonna add a little bit of um, we call it flavor enhancer. This in the UK, but in Jamaica. We call this seasoned salt. Yes, so I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoned salt. As I told you guys, we don't really do measurement in this country. In, in Not in this country, in Jamaica. We're not big on measurements. We just add a bit or add the amount we think 
might do what we want it to do to our pot. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, guys. So I just add a bit of seasoned salt, otherwise known as flavor enhancer. I had that. And now, guys, I'm thinking, though, if should I do it? I'm going to add a tiny bit of my, a tiny bit of all-purpose seasoning. Guys, you don't want to add no salt to your pack. You remember, remember, guys, these are really salty. So after you have these, that, that's enough salt. No salt to your pack. And then the all-purpose of salt in it as well. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit, just a tiny bit like, yeah, that's it, no more. Because I don't want it to be too salty and not spoil my nice soup, my nice, nice chicken soup. So that's enough. Okay. And next thing I'm going to add, just some pimento, guys. Yes. Okay, you see that? Yeah. I'm adding a bit of pimento. You don't want a lot of pimento. Maybe a, a few, come on, pimento. Yeah, that should be enough. Just a few. That's for the flavor as well. Yeah, so you add that to it. And then my spring onions. Otherwise, otherwise known as scallion and some thyme, fresh thyme. So I'm adding my thyme. And now I'm going to add my pepper. Guys, remember, don't cut it open unless you have somebody who wants your pot to so be really, really spicy. If you don't want your pot to be too hot or your mouth to burn, you just add this in it just like that. Leave it all and drop it in it just like that. And you will get the flavor, but you won't get the hotness or the spiciness. Just look a flavor. You get me? We do make we like to drop a green one. We couldn't really find no more, no greener one than that one here. So that will have to do yeah yeah so that's it there you have it so i'm gonna leave my pot now to boil i'm gonna leave it to boil for roughly i'm gonna leave that for like maybe 10 minutes 10 11 minutes yeah about that and i'll come back and i'll check it taste my pot to see what i want if it want to if i want to add something else if it's okay, then I'll go ahead and serve my chicken soup. See you guys in a bit. Guys, I'm back to show you how things are going. In other parts, see there, guys? Oh, that pepper, you have to watch it, you know? You have to watch it. Let me take it out now, because I think I've got all the flavor that I need from it. So it should be okay if I take it out now. There you go. Because if that bursts in your soup... You're gonna have one pot of spicy soup. So you just remove that from your soup right now. So I remove it from my soup. Yes, guys, and there you have it. Guys, if you could just smell what I'm smelling at this moment, this smell, so yum. I know it's gonna taste even better than it smells. It smells really good, guys. Yes, yeah, so there you have it. That's my chicken soup. Yes, guys, see that? My yummy chicken soup and there you have it but guys before i finish my soup my soup is almost ready to serve i just remember i like to add a little bit not everyone do this but i do it i like to have, add a bit of butter to my soup so i'm gonna go ahead and add my butter so there you have it just for more flavor everybody know my big and flavor i like things for taste good Food for taste nice, yeah. So I'm gonna add the butter there. So that I can just get some more flavor. So I'm gonna leave that for a few minutes and then I'm ready to serve my chicken soup. Yeah, guys, after a few minutes, that's ready to serve a nice bowl of chicken soup. Yes. My soup is now ready. I'm about to go dig in. But guys, until next time, Please, before you go, remember to like my video, comment, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. And please, guys, just spread the word. Just spread the word that your girl Steffi is doing her thing over here. Get your friends, get your family, get everyone to come over and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, guys, take care. I'm going to dig in. I can't wait to dig into my soup.